Not the view some tourists had hoped for, a thick layer of smog covering the city of Chiang Mai in Thailand. On a clear day, this overlook is usually a popular photo stop, but haze is once again obscuring the view. Perhaps not surprising since Chiang Mai ranks as one of the world's most polluted cities, according to IQ Air, a website that monitors air quality. But the smog isn't just unsightly, it's unhealthy. IQ Air says the level of cancer-causing pollutants in Chiang Mai's air is more than 20 times higher than World Health Organization guidelines, and people are getting sick from it. A Thai government report says more than 10 million people required treatment for pollution-related illnesses last year, with many people wearing masks to protect themselves. On the day that I don't wear a face mask, I'm exposed to pollution. Then I would come home with an allergic rash on my arm. I can't breathe. I have a stuffed nose. In northern Thailand, high pollution levels are common during the early months of the year when farmers burn crops to clear the fields. But this year, the government says it's taking steps to curb the problem. Legislation for a Clean Air Act is underway, and Thailand's Prime Minister says he'll impose regulations on crop burning, but didn't give further details. We are going to do whatever we can to make sure that the air condition is improved. The smog also affecting Thailand's capital, Bangkok, and one of the country's most vulnerable groups, children. Many public schools in Bangkok don't have air purifiers or filtration systems, so students, even inside the classroom, can be exposed to toxic air. The humidity in the classroom is high if we close the windows, so that's why we need to leave the windows open. But then pollution dust comes in